Hi everyone, it's Don here from Benson Archery Warehouse and today I have with me Jack Salmon, who's one of our staff shooters here. Welcome Jack. Hello Don, how are you going? Not too bad. So you've just come back from shooting at the Australian National Youth Championships. Yep. And how was it? It was pretty good, really well run event. Um, managed to shoot, you know, pretty well in the target and field rounds and also in the match play as well, claimed the gold. So I was pretty happy with the overall performance. Okay, and so, so this was actually your second year in defending the title? Yeah, that's correct, Don. Yeah. All right, and uh, next year will actually be your last year? In yeah, last year for juniors. Um, also have one more Trans-Tasman event, which is another classic. Um, that will be my fourth one, so I'm looking forward to that. And are you going to be able to keep the clean sweep? Hat trick? Oh uh, yeah, probably. I well, hope so. I don't know. Hope so. It'll be the last one, so one last hurrah before it's all over. Okay. So during the week we had some pretty bad weather. Uh, the Monday and Tuesday was pretty much a, a washout, wasn't it? Yeah. No, the Monday was pretty pretty shocking. Um, just rain, more rain. Um, it, it dried up for the second day, which was good. Um, but it made the the field course pretty muddy and just the conditions, you know, not fantastic for the rest of the week. But you know, it's brizzy and, and they came back with good, with good weather for the rest of the event, so it was really nice. Okay, it's great to hear. Yeah. So, during the process, you also managed to smash a new Australian record for the Youth Championships. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that was good. Yeah. yeah? So, just run us through that, how it sort of felt running into that sort of record-breaking <laughs> score area. Well, at the, at the time of shooting, I don't really think about, I try not to think about the outcome of, of what's going on. It's just best to keep a calm head and just focus on the shot itself and then the outcome will come from that. So that's that's my plan with, with everything I do and, and usually if I do that and not think about the scores, I can usually come away with something decent. Um, but, but yeah, that's the way I approach the things and, and then at the end of the day when someone comes up and says, you know, you got the record, then that's just a bonus. So did you actually know while you were shooting that you were heading towards a record? Not really, no. I, I mean, I'd been shooting well, so I thought that, you know, if I keep this up, then the outcome will take care of itself at the end of the day. Yeah. Right. So now you actually shot a 1390 out of a possible 1440. Yep. And is that actually a PB for you at all? Um, it was close to it. I shot a 1393 earlier this year. Um, but no, I just I had to keep it together at 30 metres and finish strong at 50 to get that score because... I didn't have a great start at 50, so I really needed to keep my head in the right place to get over the line. So. Okay, right. So then, when you were coming down into your 30 metres, now you actually finished with a 359 out of a possible 360, yeah. so it's a fantastic effort. Yeah. What happened on that one nine? Oh, uh, common, I mean, at 30 metres, it, it's, it's such a close distance that, um, you know, it, it's almost easy to, to hit tens but there's those moments where you kind of just have a, a bit of a brain fart and then you just you know let one slip or you know that one was was nearly in so I mean you know a bit of unlucky but you know I mean overall I was pretty happy with the performance. Okay so. so then after you shot that how hard was it for you to just maintain your concentration to keep shooting those tens rather than you know let your mind dwell on the fact that you shot a nine and you know sort of go in that down one yeah, spiral? Yeah um, me and my coach have been working on a bit of that as well, so I mean it's only one point at the end of the day, it's not going to make a huge impact on a feet of score because you know it's only one point. I was much happier with the rest of the distances, um, but with what you were saying it's, it's, it's kind of a bit of a relief as well because when you, you're pressured into shooting you know, uh, the, the max score 360, once you let a 9 drop it's kind of like well there it goes, you can't get the 360. So it's a, it's a bit of a works both ways. It blows, it, it relieves yeah. that pressure so you don't have as much on, on yourself to yeah, try exactly, to Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Okay. So then now, you've recently changed your equipment. You were yep. shooting a different bow before. Yeah. And so, how how much time did you have in preparation for the Nationals with your new bow? Um, well, as you said, I've been shooting the same bow for four years. So, it was, you know, a lot of people kind of doubted the fact that I could come back with this new, new bow, the Prime One, which is fantastic. Um, but it was a really easy transition for me, especially considering I've been shooting the previous boat for four years, uh, which is awesome on their behalf. So, I mean, you know, as I said, a few people doubted doubted how I would go with, with the new equipment, but it really proved itself over the week. Um, the, some of the bad shots that I made weren't as bad because of that. Okay. And, and overall, I went into the tournament, you know, knowing that, you know, I wasn't, no concern in my head whatsoever about the equipment. 
and that's the way you have to approach these events, otherwise you won't. You and, won't and to throw just another spanner into the works, you actually also change the arrows that you normally use too. Correct, yeah, no, I've, that's kind of the same thing too. I've shot the same arrows again for four years and changed recently, um, but they perform fantastically, the Nano Pros by Carbon Express, and they're just all around, they're, they're a brilliant arrow, and again, it's, it's one of those things where you can't, you can't go into the tournament thinking, you know, that the arrow's not going to perform, uh, but at the end of the day, it, it's all good equipment. Uh, I love it, so I'm really, really enjoying my shooting at the moment. So. Okay, that's great to hear. Yeah. So then, what's next for you on the calendar? Well, uh, closely approaching is the, the the next kind of major tournament in Australia is the Australian Open, which is in on the second of August, so not too long. Um, felt like you know ages away earlier in the year, but it's really crept up quickly. Uh, also, later on, the, the biggest, my main goal is the Junior World Championships in China in October. So, and that's that's in, that's in Shanghai, is it? Wuxi, Wuxi, an hour and a half west of, of China. Right. So. Really looking forward to that, it's always a good event. Um, you know, Match Fight Nationals kind of got me back into the groove because I hadn't been on that, that kind of scene for, you know, a year or so. So it was it was a good test. Um, I managed to come up with the gold, which I was happy with. Um, so I'm really looking forward to China. It'll be my last Junior World Championships I can go to, so I really oh, want to okay. give, it my, give it my all and, and see what I'm, you know, I'm hoping to do really well with that. So. All right, that's great. Well, once again, congratulations on your new national record and thanks for cleaning out uh, the Junior Nationals for 2013. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. Cheers, guys. Thanks for the support.